on this week's AP Religion Roundup. An island nation in the Caribbean allows the religious use of marijuana. A young Rastafari member beats a drum at a tabernacle service on the tiny Caribbean island of Antigua. The Rastafari faith is rooted in 1930s Jamaica, growing as a response by black people to white colonial oppression. The beliefs are a melding of Old Testament teachings and a desire to return to Africa. For Rastafari, the use of marijuana brings them closer to the divine. They say it aids them in meditation and reaching a deeper consciousness. For decades, members of this Rastafari community and others have been persecuted and imprisoned for their ritualistic marijuana use. We suffered a lot as children coming up. Ross Quixote Arasto is a priest who was raised in a Rastafari home. Parents who got caught with weed would be suffered jail time. They, they would get locked up in the jail. Um, this would help to destabilize the family. If a father get locked up, the family is going to suffer. The islands of Antigua and Barbuda recently became one of the first Caribbean nations to grant Rastafari official sacramental authorization to grow the herb. And we believe that we have to provide a space for everyone at the table. Prime Minister Gaston Brown says they're trying to move beyond past persecutions. We have come a long way um, from, you know, discrimination and um, the castigation, the violence against Rastafari to one in which they are fully embraced. Earlier this year, Brown met with Rastafari groups and granted them legal licenses from the country's medical cannabis authority to grow the plant for religious purposes. The small nation of about 100,000 people has gone further than regional efforts by larger countries and they hope to set a global example. Rastafari in Antigua and Barbuda continue to push for broader relaxation and full legalization of the plant. I'm Walter Ratliff.